Mr. Carr, with that particular class in, from 1998 to 1995 that's represented in that photo, was there something about that particular class that stood out for you in your memory? Uh, yes. There, um, a small group of kids is called a cohort, and the, there was a, these co the cohort in this group of kids that were far above average, far above average, was just phenomenal. It's about five or six kids that were just kind of off the scale for ability and performance, and um, Jimmy was one of them, and he, to be honest, was the leader of the pack. Which is why I remember them. It's it's unusual to have five or six kids from that area just shine <clears throat> academically. Was this a class that a lot of teachers remembered going through uh, Castroville Elementary? Yes, okay. and we would fight to get them. <laughs> um, when you say a cohort of five or six students, um, do some of those students still live in the Castroville area? Yes. Have you kept in touch with some of them? Yes. Um, have you had occasion over the years to talk to them about that class and about uh, James Holmes? Yes. Um, I, I just want to be clear for the jury, um, some of those discussions with them, has that kind of refreshed your memory about things that happened way back in 1998? Yes. They, yeah, I didn't remember it, and they brought it back, and I went, whoa, correct. After talking with them, do you have an independent recollection of some of those things? Yes. That <laughs> it's okay. Um, some of those things that we're going to talk about here in a minute. Yes. All right. Um, and also to be clear for the jury, the last time that you saw uh, James Holmes, that was in fifth grade, correct? Yes. You have not uh, kept in touch with him nor he with you since then? No. All right. So let's talk about this smart group of kids. Um, describe how they interacted with each other. Um, there were five or six of them, and they, they had a wonderful ability to pull not only themselves up, they were very competitive with each other, but it, it pulled up even the lower kids. Usually there's a bell curve in a class, you know, you have super high performers, medium performers, low performers. And this high group that Jimmy was a member of, they, they just pulled everybody up together. And uh, it was a pleasant rivalry. The kids were not mean-spirited. Um, it was a really nice thing to see and very unusual, which is why I remember it. Did it pull the class up behavior-wise? Yes. Yeah, it was a nice class in every way for academics and behavior. Okay. I want to now um, sort of have you describe a little bit about um, James specifically, James Holmes specifically within that group. What do you recall about him okay. and his demeanor? Um, I recall that he was very pleasant, that he smiled. He was a smiler, um, well-kept, you know, kept, dressed neatly, uh, caused me no grief. Um, the kids liked him a lot, and uh, there was no dark side, um, Did he and I trusted him a lot. Okay. Um, in fact, and, and he would finish, he and another kid, Chris, can I say names? Yeah. He and another child, Chris Chun, were really running things, and they, they, they had this rivalry going. But they finished their work all the time, so what does a teacher do with, you have to do this balance all the time of high ability kids, low ability kids, and medium, and, and, um, and Jimmy and Chris and a couple other kids would finish their work. And it wouldn't be wrong. What do you do? So um, they, they said, can we start a computer? Um, can we do a website? And I said, basically, uh, OK, what's that? Because this was a long time ago. And so they wrote code. They did a website. Uh, Demi and Chris did a website. And they, they, they did the coding. And I didn't know what the heck they were doing. But I trusted them to do that. You know, they sat in the corner. Or I would have my back to them, so that means I trusted them, and they did it. And then I say, so don't tell me how you did this because I don't get it. How does it work? And um, you know, like that, and see things like that. There's, and, and there's no way I would ever trust kids to do that unless they had the ability. And I know they're going to accomplish the task, 
And this is just so good in so many ways. It also sets a precedence for the other kids in class because they think, hey, if I do my work and, I'm, and I do something to completion, maybe I can do something like that too. It's just, it just pulls everybody up.